this, Murphy? Can you do the all the way? Yeah. Can no, you... I I don't have a super fancy updated computer. Gavin, thanks for shaming me wow. at the beginning of the sprint. <laughs> I thought you had one. I thought you had all of the up-to-date materials to <gasps> do all of the sloppy effects. Yeah, you're Murphy. <gasps> I don't I barely maybe... know how to use my computer at all. Uh, what are you talking about? You're like younger than I am. You surely, surely you know. No, no. It doesn't matter. I, it's it's a matter of I don't care enough to like technology just doesn't interest me. So I'd rather just know how to turn the computer on and, and do the job. The best. Hope <laughs> for the best. That's the best way to do it. Honestly, that's the best way to do it. Uh, Hi, everyone. Mother. Welcome everyone. Welcome to some Sprinty Rose with <laughs> Vinipia. I won't do it again. I don't want to show you up. So like, that's not <laughs> what this live is about. <laughs> that's not what this is all about. Um, I am blessed, blessed to be joined by my friend Murphy. Although are we still friends? After I don't know. Your caption still says Murphy loves me, but we'll see how it is at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see by the end of this if it changes. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully it stays the same. But uh, yeah, welcome in everyone. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what reading sprints are, because I do get that question a lot, it's just when I start the timer, read or do whatever you need to do. Sometimes something productive. Maybe you want to play a game. You can do that. Maybe you want to do some cleaning, some housework. It's all fair game. As soon as the timer goes on, me and Murphy will mute ourselves. We'll do what we need to do. I don't know what Murphy's up to today. We'll find out. What are you up to today? Anything productive? D during the sprints, I'll be reading. I thought that was well. You can do that, um, but uh, yeah, but like I'm reading. I'll probably be playing with my cats. I'll probably be doing a little bit housework. I've, I've got dishes to do. I should probably do the dishes too. Did, you, got so invite, did you invite me on to your channel so you could do dishes? Yeah, yeah, okay. I do. Yeah, these are dishwashing sprints. Put an audiobook <laughs> in then. You know what? Actually, I wish I will probably end up because. Right, so I'm reading Titanic books this week, as I briefly mentioned to Murphy. I need to like put them down every now and then because they've all been pretty bad. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to step away from this for now. I'm going to do something else. So if that's the case with the book I'm reading today, yeah, they might end up turning into cleaning sprints. <laughs> I might have to do some kind of housework to counterbalance the terribleness that I've been it's reading this appointment. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you were telling all... me backstage that you, you're you really fascinated by the Titanic. Do you want to know how fascinated I am? Can oh, I show you something? Do it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll oh, be no. like two seconds. I'll be two seconds. This is going to change your life. This will change your life. Look what I just built. <gasps> is that a Lego Look. set? Yeah. It's the Lego no. set. Gavin, yeah. how long did that take you? Four days. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, That's right? Amazing. This this is honestly my specialist subject in anything ever. Please don't Essentially, drop it. It's, it's a Titanic. Should I do a poll? Should I do a poll and be like, should I drop drop the Titanic set? No. And if it wins, I drop it. No. Are you? What? Is, <laughs> you are the most bonkers person I have ever known. Who invests four days into creating something and then puts a poll on the internet to see if you destroy it? <laughs> because I like chaos. <laughs> the things you do, you're like, I'm gonna read my comic books, and then I'm gonna build the Titanic, and then I'm gonna drop the Titanic and break it. <laughs> Did you know that all the photos that we have, all the media photos that we have of Titanic, not passenger photos, are not the Titanic? No, I didn't know that. Ah! What is it? Of? What What is it of then, Mister? I love the Titanic so much. Um, my, so my son is super interested in the Titanic too, and he has books on it. And, um, it, apparently there was a sister ship that was built and designed exactly the same. They had the same floor plan and everything. So they yeah. took media photos for the sh sister ship. And then when, uh, the Titanic was going to launch, they just reused all the photos because they're exactly the same rather mm. than paying a photographer to come out a second time. So Fair. everything you see that isn't a passenger photo or video is not actually the Titanic. Wow. Is it was it the Olympic? I seem to remember there was kind of Yeah, I think the, that's what it was called. Yeah, because I think there was a conspiracy theory that the Olympic and the Titanic was switched in a, a like an insurance thing. So it was actually the Olympic that sunk, not the Titanic. That was like a big conspiracy theory. 
So that's the only reason why I know that. <laughs> yes, I think you're right about who the what the sister ship was called. Yeah, Limbeck, I didn't know yeah. that. That wasn't that that didn't latch onto my brain. Yeah, I don't think it's unsinkable. I don't think so. Well, it's definitely gonna sink. There are so many holes and stuff in it. I don't think I I completely built it correctly, but it's built and it looks good. So that's essentially essentially what I've been doing with my time. Because what else am I gonna do? <laughs> what else are you gonna do? What else Pet am I gonna do? Build some Legos. Read a book. Build some Legos. And that's exactly why I've been on Cloud9 this week, honestly. Being able to do Legos, I did the Rivendell set a couple of months ago, and that just, oh, it just blew me away. Being able to listen to the audiobook, build Rivendell, it was my favorite thing in the world. Do you have the Rivendell like, set near you? It's uh, currently up there. I wouldn't be able to pick it up. No, that's okay. Thing. Yeah. What video you... did you have it in? Uh, it, it might have been a, a slice of life vlog okay. from January, I think. January? Golly gee, mm. don't expose me that I don't watch every video. <laughs> to be fair, it was like nestled in with a lot of other great content, if you ask me. So like, I don't blame you for missing <laughs> That is the best self brag. My goodness. I'm obviously kidding. <laughs> I, don't I haven't think watched your Dragon Ball video yet. How did you find it? Oh, it was good. I, I liked some of the arcs, especially the later arcs, but some of those early, early I know, arcs. I know, we talked about it in the DMs. It's rough. It's very rough. And honestly, I feel like some of the Dragon Balls are a little bit, well, the whole concept of it is a little bit overpowered. And sure. like, there is just so much of it that eliminates a lot of stakes in the story. And I always love story the most out of everything. And there were some stakes that were just like taken away from a lot of events that happened. Mm -hmm. And, but overall, I had a good time. Overall, good. it was fun. It was good. a good time. And good, I know you, time. you do enjoy it as well. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. But yes, those early jokes are bad, 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 bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't want to talk too much about that online either. Cause I was like, I want to bring it up and then people are going to be like, ah, that's like, one of those arguments that have been had dozens upon dozens of times. It's just the way things are. It's just the culture. And oh, I yeah. just... and everybody's set in their ways and everybody, mm. it's just, that's a lot. I feel that way a lot of times too. I brought it up in a reading vlog, but I didn't bring it up in my official videos because mm. I was already exhausted by the conversations just in the comments of the reading vlogs. I was like, I like y'all aren't going to change my mind. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to keep rehashing this. I feel no. very strongly about this. So we're just going to move on. I agree. And I, I want to talk about that as well. But uh, yeah, what is everyone reading? Let me know in the comments. But for example, um, whenever I do criticize something in a video, like say it's Goosebumps, just for example, say I just make a little mention of like how something didn't come across well. I'll get so many people being like, oh, this is the worst. Like, how dare you and stuff. It's like, as soon as you criticize anything, like everything is sacred and you're not allowed to do any of that. It's like, I'm not saying the entire thing is bad. I'm not saying you're bad for liking it. I'm just saying, hey, I noticed this in this story and I didn't personally like it and I want to talk about that, but no. Yeah, no, I have the same experience. It's it's honestly exhausting. Like how fun is it to talk about something with no nuance? It's not fun. Mm, exactly. like, you want to talk about the good and the bad. And I understand defensiveness over things that are attached to your childhood, but also, mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, this is a 30 minute video for you, probably a 30 hour video. This is a 30 minute video. I spent two minutes talking about this. What about the rest of the video? <laughs> literally, literally, it's like what maybe like 5% of the entire Ooh. thing. It's, you know, what? actually, a good example as well is I recently did that Wheel of Time video. And yeah. honestly, throughout the entire thing, I'm saying like how much I really like it and how much I enjoy it. Um, and but I got comments like, Oh, this was a really stupid idea, and like I'm, I just came on here to just like the I video because you. I told you the real time people would come for you if you did that. <laughs> but it's just like it's just fun. It's just fun. It like it's not even anything. Like, oh, thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. Um, anyone can watch it. If you can be about it. Get out of here with your flexes. <laughs> <laughs> uh I will turn I, I can turn it off if you want me to turn it off. I don't want to be the oh no no, no, the, no, no, no. Uh, no. I just want to randomly um, shout at you here and there. So give me a reason. I, I, you know what? I don't blame you for that. More respect to you. More <laughs> respect to you for that. Um but yeah, I oh yeah, I was gonna ask. Uh the last Fi Hunter? Yes. 
I said fee the first time, but it's fine. You you got it right. I never usually get any words right. I'm terrible. You know my beautiful? accent. It is. It I do is know your accent. Good. We just discussed your accent. <laughs> Yeah, I always pronounce things. I, I said, how did I pronounce? Was it Goku? I said Goku in Dragon Ball. <laughs> I Goku. Instead of Goku, okay. yeah, I was like. Goku. I said Luffy for an entire <laughs> video. My first One Piece video. To me, oh, did you mention it to me the correct pronunciation for Luffy before I did it? Because I think I would have, I I would have said Luffy if I had it just went in one hundred percent blind. But I think you might have warned me. I might to have done. Luffy. Yeah. Otherwise, I want, I I want to spare everyone of my pain. <laughs> you are doing the Lord's work. That's right. You are honestly doing Force the Lord's you work. into the series, and then I make sure that you, <laughs> you don't go in with your eyes closed. Yep. Essentially. Essentially, that's how it is. Uh, I'm loving some of these uh, books that everyone's mentioning. I haven't read Hell House, but that's been on my TBR for a while. Uh, Kruger Kingdom as well. I, I keep meaning to read Six of Crows, but then... I keep dilly dallying with that, and I'm like, eh, should I? Uh, I don't know about that. This I freaking love. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, Doctor Stone. I love the first volume of that so much. I Is need that, to get into it. Not a comic. It's the manga, Doctor Stone. I don't know about it. Oh my god, it's so the uh, author, the manga care recently did the One Piece Aces story manga. Like he's that. Oh yeah, yeah, manga-ker. yeah. That guy. Great first volume, so in- yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. but you've already you've got a million, a million series to get to that everyone's shouting at you to read. So Ain't that the truth. It's okay though. Yeah. yeah, you have like a whole ass l- list. I'm sure of all the things that you need to do, and I'm like, oh God, how? Lynn does have a list for me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you've seen? Have you read? I don't think you've read Shogun, but you. I think you've probably know about it you know of uh, yes. it I, yes yeah. several of my friends love it yeah i've seen a lot of praise for it mm-hmm. i read bought it and it's massive like am i actually gonna read it uh, yeah. i don't know you'll make a whole reading vlog about it you'll read it in two days <laughs> maybe i'll do the first and last for it you'll probably go to japan just to read it <laughs> <laughs> oh hey guys i'm back in japan no big deal gonna read the whole shogun series in three days i will don't tempt me. I will. I've actually I been thinking. I, I really want to do this. I, you're going to have to talk me out of this, Murphy. You're going to have to talk me out of this. I want to reread all of One Piece, but on a ship. I want to try and get tickets oh, on a I'm ship. I'm proud of that. Can I come? I'll of re- course. I'll, 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 I'll reread all of One Piece with you. We won't get anything read, let's be honest. No, we won't. <laughs> do you remember we- when you, you text me randomly and you were like, hey, Here's an Airbnb uh, link. How about we go uh, <laughs> book a Shire house and read? And you did end up doing it on your own, but you were like, we're going to read Lord of the Rings together in a Shire, a Shire a- Airbnb. And I'm like, I can't fly to England. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like this. I'm like international. Let's go international. Let's do all of these things. I'm a big dreamer. Okay, I'm a big I know, dreamer. and I love that about you. And I would. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you're like i i know it's crazy but mm. come do this with me <laughs> well can i tell you something i did that was really silly of me like it was in a kind of it's to do with like me booking tickets to something in a different country that i knew i couldn't go to but i booked the tickets because i didn't want them to sell out even though i knew i couldn't go <laughs> So did you, you just, you did it? You actually did it? I didn't do it. Like, oh, I, I got the tickets. I got, I know I got the tickets, but I didn't go to it because I couldn't get to it. It, it was international. Gavin. But I didn't want it, I didn't want it to sell out. Gavin. Wow. I, you know what? I'm your new financial advisor. You, <laughs> Good, I you need one. have to run <laughs> things by me from now on. <laughs> okay okay i will but it was to meet the charmed ones do you know how much i really want to meet the charmed ones then do it then do the thing don't just not do the thing but i i just wanted to <laughs> gavin big dreams big dreams i have the biggest of dreams okay it's um, also good to have impulse control I'm just throwing that out there oh no no that's not uh, for example lego titanic for example, but I'm going to say that was for a video, okay? That was for a video. I I needed it for a prop. 
essentially. Um, look, Had to have it. The video wouldn't have worked without it. Exactly. You know what? I've got a good thumbnail out of it. I bet you that. do. I, I have no doubts. Yeah, I don't know self control, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I do have you started the book. this Titanic book yet? Oh yeah, I am currently because I read it on my Kindle, uh, which I don't often do. I don't often read on my Kindle, so this is a really nice change. Uh, I'm how many pages? Well, it says twenty six percent, twenty six percent. But I'm yeah. reading it quite fast. I'm reading it quite fast, so I'll probably get it done in a, in a couple of sprints. So tell me, what do you want from your Titanic books? Well, it depends because I've read two historical and two that are kind of horror. Um, so the horror ones, I want to actually be scary. I want them to actually deliver. But what they're doing, what they're focusing on is trying to get to the Titanic. What they're focusing on is trying, because they're both written, I think, before the Titanic was actually found. So they're trying to convince me that these characters are going to find the Titanic. Uh, don't don't waste my time with all of that. Just get to the action. Get to the good stuff. Yeah. It should be like you're on the ship and there's ghosties on the mm -hmm. ship. That's what I would expect. Yeah, absolutely. Like something's alive on the Titanic. Like we've yeah. only just got to the Titanic and I'm uh, I'm a quarter of the way through. You've gotten um, to the sunken Titanic? The sunken one, yes. So you like how so much with underwater horror on a, on a ghost ship. Hmm. That's so disappointing. The... That concept alone is so exciting. It is, isn't it? But it, it's a little bit dated. It is. And yeah. honestly, I, the couple that I've read that were written a long time ago, uh, I say a long time ago, like from the 70s and the 80s, are like very misogynistic as well. Like the uh, female yeah. characters are really terrible. Yeah. Uh, even right, I read um, Raise the Titanic by Clive Kessler. He even described the Titanic herself as a prostitute, a naked prostitute. Why would Why would you do that? Because every single person who was described as female or feminine just had some kind of bad thing about them. And for some reason, the Titanic, because she was, you know, like glorious in her day, but now she doesn't have her funnels. She is like a prostitute without clothes. You know, like it was stuff like that. I was like, why? Why? Why, why would you describe every single woman, and not even like women, but like feminine I, well, yeah, I mean, yeah anything with any sort of feminine connotation to it yeah exactly connotations that was a great word i'm stealing it but use yeah it. It's, i'm gonna use it in the vlog i, I want to drop it just randomly out of nowhere you're gonna be like, <laughs> nice. talking about something else and you're just like connotation <laughs> which is a slow zoom like <laughs> silence <laughs> silence connotation <laughs> <laughs> And then just get back to what you were talking about. And it's going to be something serious as well. Like, oh, God, I'm so sad. Like, this person's just died. And, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be a bit of a, a whiplash moment. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I... It is annoying. It. Yeah, I'm not loving it. But I should have, because you enjoyed it. Uh, it was, I think, Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes or something. That is described as Titanic in space. I should have just read stuff like that. I should have just read stuff like that rather than books actually set on the Titanic or Titanic um, is kind of featured yeah. uh, in in the in the loose sense of the word. But I should have just done I should have just done this is like Titanic, but in space. Yes, yes. I do think I do think that Dead Silence would be a good Titanic adjacent read, mm. but it it would have been a bit of a stretch. Yeah, yeah. But I would prefer that over, like, the two-star, oh, the DNF. Negativity. Yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> hey, Dead Silence is great, too. You're not the only person who, who thinks that. Um, oh, and also, it was the final book. It was the last book in that series. Um, it's called Never and Forever. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. Um, and, no, I'm not reading any nonfiction. Um because I have a nonfiction book called On a Sea of Glass, which I've had for a few years, and that's all about the Titanic. So that's the first one that I want to read. And then I would love to, I would love to go into like books written by uh, the survivors and like their first first hand. That account. would be really interesting. Maybe you could do that next year. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I always like remember Titanic every April, so I think it would be good. And I actually did a video three years ago of me reading the book that predicted the Titanic. It like came out 14 years before Titanic happened. What? But it's like, yeah, it's like a fiction story called Wreck of the Titan. And it's about a ocean liner called the Titan uh, hitting an iceberg in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. 
and syncing and all of these different details were like so exact and correct to what happened 14 years later in 1912 when the Titanic sunk. And so it's like this myth around this book that it predicted the sinking of the Titanic. So I did a video three years ago. It's a terrible video. Audio quality, bad. Video quality, terrible. Um, but I did that three years ago because I was so interested and I wanted to do it every year. I wanted to do yeah. some kind of Titanic vlog every year. It's over. like a remembrance each year. Mm, exactly, exactly. But I just, I, I I have these ideas and I just don't go for it. I'm just, I've got too many ideas to be honest. Uh, and I did not cat, but I would love to. I would love to. Uh, I had a book club book I needed to read yesterday. I started it yesterday and finished it yesterday. And I had my book club that night. <laughs> what What was their book club for? It was for the bookshop of Dustin Dreams. And funny story, this has nothing to do with the Titanic. But the Titanic was mentioned. It was mentioned. <gasps> no way! It's following yeah. you. I think it is. I think it is. This week is just all, all Titanic to me. That's a uh, really cute cover. It's it's a great middle grade. I ended up giving it 4.5. It's about a bookstore. It is in uh, 1944, but people from all different time periods, from like 100 years before and 100 years after, they can come to this bookstore. So like someone from 1898 can come in, someone from 2024 can come in, and what? they can buy books. And it's That's so good. amazing. Yeah. I love any kind of story that has a bookstore as the main kind of uh, setting. And like, it's yeah. kind of like, it, it's the the leading force of the plot, essentially. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I like. That is what I like. Do you remember when you were a middle grade channel? Oh my God, no, I can't, no. It doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> that's when I started following you. Do you know I've been following you so long? I think so. I think, so. I remember, I, I just remember you in the live chat. We were both watching some reading sprints and I was like, you were in the live chat. I was in the live chat and you just... We, we just started speaking to one another. I was like, oh my God. But uh, yeah, I didn't realize the middle grade era of my life was when you were like, oh, that's the person I, have, I follow. I remember the big drama of the middle grade era. I don't even know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what drama. I, I, I have no idea what drama you're talking about. Uh, I want to see. Shampoo? <laughs> no, this is moisturizer. I always have to use it for my face. That's uh, not, it's still don't drink that. Oh, I, I won't, but I was just pretending I was drinking tea. I just wanted to be like you. <laughs> I didn't bring a drink. I'm drinkless today. I feel like if I have any more drinks, because I've had about three or four coffees already, and I'm already like, you know what I mean? So it's probably best I don't have any more. It's probably best I don't have any more. And it's it's this one. But yes, I remember I remember all of the dramas back then too. It's actually my five-year anniversary uh, of BookTube next week. Is it really? Yeah, five years. Happy birthday! Thanks. I'm a baby still. I'm still a baby. Next week. Wow. No, five year olds are not babies. I five year olds aren't even toddlers. I mean, oh, okay. Well, yeah. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. If I'm if I'm doing my development, still a baby. Yeah. Still fair. Baby. Fair. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm to drink some water. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what the thing that killed the Titanic? Are you kill kidding me? I'm having zero water. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely, not. I'm staying away from it. It's dangerous. It's not good for you. Uh, spill the drama, please, Murphy. Um, it I remember everybody was doing their top, uh, best and worst of the year list. <laughs> we all were doing it. All of yeah, us were everyone. doing it. Everyone. Gavin did it, and he yeah. got dragged. It was my first one. It was my first ever. It was the first one. I remember that. And I remember you being yeah. like, I have not participated in this in the past. I did it because everybody else was doing it. Why am I being targeted? It was yeah. like the most, and it was on Twitter, I think, where yeah, all yeah, people go Twitter. to die. And yeah, uh, yeah like it was, it was a crazy pile on. And you, I felt so bad for you. Yeah. It, and it was all middle grade and children's authors and not a single middle grade or children's book was in my worst book. So I was like, why are they doing this? But I did like, this is, all taste so it's fine to save but one of the people who started it was a middle grade author or a children's picture book author who actually came into my store months before and she asked for her book which we didn't have we didn't stock it at that time and she totally blanked me after that like in the store like she started talking to my colleague and just completely blanked me when I was like oh I love the illustrator they illustrated like the land of raw and stuff completely blanked me so I wasn't surprised 
that she was the instigator of all that. I had so many DMs from middle grade authors being like, Gavin, don't, like, this is so bad. Like, we're so sorry. Like, we're having group chats ourselves talking about it. And I was like, this is why I barely read middle grade anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are the worst. It was so strange. And yes, you had, it, yeah, I didn't even remember that you didn't have any middle grade books on your worst list. I just knew that it was the middle grade authors that were dragging you so hard. And I was just like, this is the weirdest, like. This was the most middle grade thing I had on that. And that isn't even middle grade. This is young adult. This is the Cheetah Girls. You know, like this was terrible. That was the youngest thing I had on that video. And it's old. Like, who cares if it's in my worst books? You know? Yeah. It was so random because you were dedicating your channel to propping up middle grade books when no one else was talking about middle grade. And I was just like, why are, why are we coming after him? <laughs> Honestly, I, I, the amount of people, the amount of times things have happened, I'm just like, why? Why me? It's just, yeah. I feel like I just attract it. I attract yeah. it. <laughs> no, it's just the internet, man. It's wild. <laughs> true uh, yeah i barely go on there sometimes i scroll on twitter just to find out the latest thing that people have been just doing for the drama. just for yeah just so i can stay in the loop you know so i can stay in the loop um but other than that i barely tweet oh, also i do uh go on there to keep connections because i do have a few connections on there who i don't want to let go of yeah fair enough oh uh, yeah we I actually, should. oh i just deleted my twitter like a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. oh, i hadn't oh. used it in years and yeah. I just kept it so that no one could impersonate me. So, hey, everyone, you can impersonate me now. And hey, um, it got hacked. You got hacked? <laughs> it got hacked, yeah. And oh. some cryptocurrency started getting promoted on my page. And, uh, yeah, and <laughs> some people told me about it. And I was like, ah, I've been meaning to delete that anyway. So I just got back in and then deleted it. <laughs> oh, my God, though. Oh, my God. And that's so scary as well because I know what's happened to a few YouTubers where their channel has been taken over by... Is it oh yeah, a channel that would be terrible if it was my YouTube channel. Yeah, but I'm like Twitter is yeah, best to just delete because that means less like gateways into your other social medias and your other accounts. Yeah, so oh, you're kind of convinced of me to delete it now, but I, I no, not delete it me. if you don't want to. You've got connections. Uh, I didn't uh, have anything. I didn't even check it. I hadn't checked it in years, and I just didn't want to put in the effort of going through and deleting all the scam stuff that had been promoted. So it's just like. Mm -hmm. eh. True. Very true. Oh my god, I'm so glad it was like scam stuff and not like you just being <gasps> Sage a, Evan once one direction follows you on your Twitter. How does that even happen? Tell us your story. Wait, who? What when? Sage who? Evans. Who? One direction. Sage Evans in the chat. Gavin! Oh, I see, I see, I see. Sorry, I, I couldn't find your comment. I was like scrolling up and down. I was like, wait, wait, wait. What? One direction follows How you? How does that even happen? <laughs> what? Oh my God, please let us know. Like, what did the you Carlin do? The Carlin brothers doing? followed me on Twitter for two the seconds. The Jonas? Did you say the Jonas the, brothers? The Carlin brothers. Uh, the, they're just, uh, they're just the, more YouTubers. The super Carlin brothers. The ones who used to do like Disney. Well, they still do Disney stuff, right? Yes. Nice. They followed me on Twitter. Well, John. Jonathan uh, followed me on Twitter. He, and then he stopped. He unfollowed me. But, but for two seconds, he was following me. Well, and now I'm not a fan anymore. Like, how dare? How dare you talk? No, there's no beef. Maybe. I don't care. I do. <laughs> I'll care for you. I'll, oh my gosh, you've got all of the boy bands following you. Five Seconds of Summer? What? Explain! What is your strategy? Yeah, if anybody else also has, like, celebrities following, let us know. <laughs> what? Look at all these people! Okay. We're all really important people, Gavin. Uh, uh, I, I have no one following me. I don't think. You don't have anyone following you? I've got the, actually the lead actress from the Shadow Hunters, um, okay. Catherine you McNamara. Okay, maybe her, but that's about it. Oh, Sam Neil, actually, Sam Neil follows me too. Who's now Sam I'm thinking maybe maybe follows everyone. He um he played the main character in Jurassic Park. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. How do these things happen? How do people get followed by random celebrities? I don't understand. I don't know. It's not like I myself have really like being oh follow me follow me you know like yeah. and tagging them like follow me i i don't do that which is probably why i don't have a lot of celebrities following me at all i used to i used to have murphy napier following me but now she's deleted her uh twitter so now she's too good for you oh gabby not Duh. anymore bitch. <laughs> not anymore follow i'm kidding i'm kidding gabby i would never that's my that. impulse too when someone says something nice i'm always like let me do the opposite literally why is this why can is we this go to therapy what's going on 
Oh, to be fair, we really should. I feel like we have a lot of problems. <laughs> Why do we want to just cause absolute destruction? It's I don't know. Like even something nice, like I'll scratch my husband's back and he's like, oh, that feels great. And I'm like, and now it's over. Like, I don't know what it is, but I have to opposite react when something yeah. positive is said. Yeah, that is so, I never really contextualized that before, but I do that all the time. Yes. Mm, What's wrong interesting. With Let's um, let's unpack this. Let's unpack. This. Okay, let's so it. tell me about your childhood trauma. In front of five hundred and fifty people, I think not. <laughs> maybe, maybe get a drink in me first. <laughs> All right. And now we're talking. Now we're talking. Uh, I do have a Twitter, but I don't know for how long now. <laughs> I don't know how long. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, Joseph Morgan, Klaus, nice. Look at that. We have oh Simon. Simon Dinosaur is uh, complimenting your accent. We were just talking about your accent before we went live. And how much I hate it because when I say books, it sounds like boops. <laughs> See, that those two sounded exactly the same. You just said boops, the same boops, word. Boops, books, boops, books, boops, books, boops. <laughs> which one's which? <laughs> which, one, which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> Defense mechanism, fair. Fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why? Why do I have this defense mechanism in place? Explain to me. You're now my therapist. So why mm -hmm. do I have this defense mechanism in place? Yeah, please. Wait, me? Am I your therapist or, or Amster underscore Dam? Amster Dam, obviously. Amster Dam. Is our therapist. Our therapist, shared therapist. Uh, yeah, please unpack this for us. And let us <laughs> we now go to couples therapy. And uh, we really need this explained. <laughs> couples therapy, but for how long? Because, again, But for how long? We did have our one-year anniversary stream together. I'm not sure if you remember. Yeah, no, I can't. No, no. <laughs> it was the last totally stream we did together, and you labeled it the one-year anniversary. And people were like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they thought that maybe we were, yeah, a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> so for the two-year anniversary. <laughs> so for two years, we're doing live couples therapy. <laughs> exactly. Then third year anniversary in person couples therapy that we'll live stream from the therapist's office oh. because you finally figured out where i live and you've broken in mm. and you live here now essentially i'm just figuring it out slowly but surely surely but slowly but surely yes slowly figuring it out uh, anyway shall we do our first sprint anyways i guess, <laughs> like... read. I guess that's <laughs> what we pretended we got together for yeah, yeah, this was really just an excuse to hang out, essentially. Uh, actually, read. What if I start reading uh, on page 300? Do you think that would oh, hinder yes. my experience at all? Oh. Murphy, I've got a reading vlog idea for you. So, <laughs> your patrons or any any person on your channel, your subscribers, pick, like, on a random number generator or something, the page you start with on the books that you read that week. And you have to start on that page. And you have to read the book that way. Listen, How about that? How about I'm not. That? I'm already dumb. I don't need to be working against myself this way. Look at my map. Are you jealous? My book has a map. Oh, well, you no. Know. <laughs> I kind of am. Are you not a map guy? I kind of am a map guy, to be fair. I do love me a map. But... It has three ships on it. I mean, that is pretty. That is That's very like pretty. I'll take it back then. It's a beautiful map. I love it so much. It, now I want to read it, like right now. Do oh it, baby. God, I, might, I might download. I might get on on Kindle and get the map. Get the map. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm 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 gonna be strict. I'm gonna be strict. I've never been strict before in my life, but I'm gonna be strict. We read. Way? We huh? In what way? What's the strictness? Like. To start reading? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, let's read. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe what we're here for. Maybe, maybe some some sprinting. Uh yeah, okay. I, I just keep getting distracted. Sorry. So we're gonna read now. I saw the timer. When it goes off in 40 minutes, I can't wait for everyone to hear the, the timer. It's gonna be awesome. And it's not barking. Don't worry, Miff. Yeah, sorry. we'll see. I've been traumatized. Mm, we'll see about that. But yeah, happy reading. See you in 40 minutes.
We both jumped so far there. <laughs> Why did you choose that as your alarm? Because it's like it's applauding <laughs> us for a job well done. Look at what you did to my note. <laughs> Look at this. Look at <laughs> We both jumped, so I pooped myself that I jumped out my skin. Holy and so did you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's about their barking. <laughs> how's your uh how's your your Titanic book? Um it's actually picked up steam. It has Good. picked up steam. Um we could have cut out the entire first hundred pages and it would oh, have right. done absolutely no dent in the story whatsoever because it's much better now. But it's funny because you've ruined the word undulate for me because of how yeah much you're darn right i have and it's everywhere literally this is a moment that should have been scary i'll read it out it's just a, a sentence yeah. this should have been scary but i just ended up laughing instead but uh it, it this guy says it just came back it's something alive i tell you it's undulating over me i can't even say the floods no one says <laughs> that no one talks like that no one would say that in the real world no, not when you've got this alive monster. No one's above saying me. it's undulating say. above me. They're all saying, what is that freakish creature? Literally, like, oh my god, ah, someone help. You know, just not, it's undulating. No, you don't say no. that. That's so weird. It's, yeah. it's so weird. It's so unnatural. No one says it out in the wild. Hey, Joanna. Mm -hmm. And only authors are obsessed with that, with that word. Mm -hmm. And every single time it takes me out now. I don't really have that much of a problem with that word anymore. But actually, actually, there's a different Titanic book I read this week. Was it? I think it was this one. And I even mentioned in my vlog that this author uses the word undulate so many times. Like, Did so you not like that book either? Mm -hmm. That's one that was on my radar. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I wasn't a big she... fan. But she, she uses the word undulate a lot. And I remember yeah. being like, why would you use, like, even not just that word, but any word. Like, you know, when you just tell an author has latched onto a word and they just constantly use it over and over again. Ugh, it just... It is I'm the stiff. curse of my life to hate that word as much as I do, yet to love nautical fiction as much as I do. Because mm. it's constantly used in nautical I'm descriptions. Yeah. I'm starting to say that now, because I don't really read a whole lot of nautical stuff, but obviously this week I am. So I'm definitely noticing it a, a lot more now um but anyway uh welcome back everyone <laughs> so sorry for the jump scare yeah Hope for real guys... oh my god i need to turn that down because that literally i i want to go back and watch it now <laughs> just i want to <laughs> see both of us jump out of our skin <laughs> that terrified uh, me i got 26 pages into Spy hunter and it's so good gavin i love it after 26 pages it was one of the best first chapters I've read in a while. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, interestingly enough, I do like to read a first chapter just to get a vibe these days. That's like do my new it. thing. It so... did such a good job of establishing who our character is, what mm. his, what the five are, and mm. what they do, and like the rules around hunting them, and what kind of restrictions and abilities they have, all within... Let's see, the first chapter was only started on chapter. It, the first chapter starts on page seven and goes mm -hmm. through page 13. Super Ooh. short. Yeah. And all of this was packed into action. Have you watched Free Run? I haven't, but I've read the first volume. Okay. It's not the first volume, it's the second volume. That, that, okay, no, it doesn't matter. Um, um, it, really? It, it, the, there's, there's the way. Chapter one is formatted, reminds me a lot of one of the episodes in Free Run. And when they're when they're fighting a dragon, the way he was fighting this Fi was really similar to that. And at least that's what I was imagining the whole time. Oh, nice. <sighs> it was really good. It was really, really good. I took, I have, if you can see, I have loads of underlines and notes because it was so interesting that I wanted to keep track of all the details. Except I need to. I would love to peruse one of the books that you annotate just to see what kind of things you pick out and see how you do that, like your process. Maybe I'll send you this book when I'm done with it and that's how you can read it. 
well it is my birthday next next month like it's my anniversary and then it's my birthday so i mean if you want to spoil your gav then... apparently i do apparently this is the way <laughs> this is the way oh my god yeah i'll definitely check it out though i always love getting some recommendations from yeah uh oh philip's alabaster video i need to i need to watch that i need to watch that. i'm really really enjoying one piece mm. Okay. Oh, also, that reminds me. Can I get no spoilers for One Piece in the uh, in the chat for anyone else? I accidentally, Murphy. Oh, this is. I love you guys so much. Who are watching? Love you guys so much. Um, I accidentally clicked on a comment that had a really massive spoiler for One Piece in it. Like right at the end, I was reading the comment out and everything because it was a long comment. And then right at the end, it was a big, big, big spoiler. And it was no. just normal reading sprints as well. So most of the people who were here haven't read One Piece yet. And I was like, and we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on from that. Was Ugh. it, What can you tell me what arc the spoiler was from? Green Ford. <gasps> oh, mm -hmm. oh, no! Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Gavin, I'm sorry. I, I, obviously, that's the first one that popped into my mind. But yeah. oh. It happened twice. It happened twice. So I need anyone who's read any kind of manga like just no spoilers for anything you need a mod who knows one piece really well because like lynn lynn where are you <laughs> <laughs> because because if you don't know one piece then you probably don't know that that's like the spoiler uh yeah it is yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> uh always makes me think of Murphy and Sean Aston. <laughs> you I can't believe Sean Aston knows Murphy. He doesn't know me and he probably doesn't even remember making that video. Oh, he definitely remembers. Are you kidding me? It was the highlight of his career. You know, he's got Lord of the Rings, he's got the Goonies, and then he's got the Murphy cameo video. Have what did, did you ever do anything with the Taz video that you got? I didn't you, know it's still, it's still a it? secret. Uh, I what? Well, I've got, I've got nothing to fit it in. Like, it, it just doesn't really. We're here together now. Pull it it's up, true. baby. It's true. I, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe uh, for my five year anniversary celebration. I'd... That was such a charming video. Mm, it was, wasn't it? It was so yeah. lovely. The way he that was. he just sang, and he mentioned your name as well. He said, he did. Was very kind. He did. He was... It was just really sweet because you obviously gave him a prompt, and he, then he like he did the prompt, and then he was like, "Let's just chat for a little bit. Let me let me keep going." It was it was so sweet. And it's actually because I have had cameos before. Like I've gotten cameos from two of the charmed ones because I love them so much, and they gave me like I love them so much. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but their cameo videos were a little bit lackluster in a way yeah. you know like you pay so much money for it and then they send you something back and uh one of them was um piper from charmed and she was just she didn't know what to say like i was it, it's kind of funny to see her do it but you, she kind of doesn't know what to say in the video and she's just like oh thank you so much for being a big fan yeah no, no, no. you know she just kind of like fizzles out a little bit but taz taz was oh, he just ran with it didn't he he just went yeah let's have a conversation about one piece i i can tell you're a fan i'm a fan let's chat let's and that's chat. exactly what he did and it he was, was so lovely. amazing he was so mm -hmm. amazing oh thanks nikki um but yeah also have i ever told you i hate getting attention so i actually don't like my birthday like i actually don't like i know you're gonna think i'm joking I but i actually all. don't like i i hate my birthday i hate it i do i'm not even kidding I'm it's really kidding. hard to believe <laughs> I know it is, but I, I hate it. I do. I hate my birthday. I hate getting older. I hate, I, I don't know. I just, I like attention, but not when it's to do with my birthday. Do you know what I mean? Like, so funny. yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know how to explain that. Where's my therapist? Are you still in the chat? <laughs> Where are you? I love my birthday. You do? I, when, when, I, when is your oh birthday? Oh my goodness. September. September. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I don't even want, like, I don't want to party or anything like that, but, like, I want people to know it's my birthday, mm. I expect chocolate, I want to go on a walk, mm. and I want to mm. go out to eat, and I just, like, I don't know, it's so fun. Yeah, like, I, 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 
I, I like to reap the benefits, but I just don't like, like, I don't like a birthday party. I don't no. want my family to arrange some kind of party or a gathering. I don't want that. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. I would hate it if someone threw me a birthday party. I just want, I want Corey to give me lots of attention. That's <laughs> basically what I want for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of gifts. And yeah, yeah all of this. Like, can buy me a Butterfingers. Let me go for <laughs> oh, a walk. I've never had Butterfingers before. Oh. I don't know if they're a UK in the in the UK. Oh, it's a problem. It is a problem. I am a big problem. Also, I'm gonna read all of Attack on Titan. Like I think that's my next one because I just did all the Dragon Ball. I think Attack on Titan's gonna be my next one. Oh, we're go we're about to. Never mind. We're about to sprint. I was gonna show and you. I, I, I paused it. I paused you did? it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Murphy's gone for a shit again. She did this before we went live. Um, yeah, she suddenly gets you know um ibs you know it comes on and she just has to run the toilet she has to run the toilet. Uh, anyway um oh good night little bear with my son and put him to bed that's so sweet i mean i do like presents fran i do like presents but i just honestly i, I don't like the attention though like give me the present silently <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'll say thank you and everything, but don't make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. <gasps> it's that all of Attack on Titan. Oh, uh, oh, oh, is that all of... Oh, my God. You tell me not to drop the Titanic and then you drop all of the Attack on Titan books? <laughs> oh, my God. You got them all. Oh well, I think God. I have a couple of gaps. Oh, here's volume one. Wow. I have a couple of gaps. <sighs> oh, I haven't my... read them. Uh, but, uh, you, but you've got them. That's the main thing. They're here. That is the main thing. Wow. And now you've got a mess, is what you've well, got. You don't just have a tap on time. You, you have a mess. It's just my life, honestly. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um, but I uh, also, I, I do have them. I do want to read them all. Uh, probably in a few days. I like doing challenges like that, where I just read them in like four or five days. That's a good way to do it, though. You're not going to forget stuff no. that way. You're just going to, like, absorb it. It's going to be a part of your personhood for a short time. That's very true. What was the last thing that you binged, like, series-wise? Area X. Area X. The, uh, the first book is called Annihilation. Mm. Uh, it's a, it's a sci-fi horror. It's There's three books. It's like, that's Jeff Vandermeer, right? It is. Yes. It is. It took over my life. It was all I did for probably like four days. It's all I did. It was the best time in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. I say the the um amount of people who tell me, how do you binge things? Because a lot of people don't like to immerse themselves like too much, like they get burned out so quickly on the series. But I I feel like I'm the opposite. And it sounds like you're yeah, not really I I prefer a binge personally. Mm. My problem is I prefer a binge if it's something that I love. I hate mm. a binge if it's something that I feel kind of medium about. So my problem yeah. is to organize that. Like you organize yours. Yeah, so I try for to, me, yeah. yeah. And I can't do that unless I already know I love it. And then I'm like, let this be my whole personhood for a short time. Yeah. And when you're also doing content around it too, it's like you can't just take all that time to do something and not have anything else. I get it. Yeah, I told everyone that you needed the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Just randomly run away every now and then. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, how did you how did you obtain all of those? I just went to I, I Attack on Titan was go, I was gonna read it, and so I just mm. went to the bookstore and I was like, I'll get a couple to start me off, and they had so many, and I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a couple. Famous. I'm not word. even an impulsive person, so I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm very impulsive. I'm extreme, but I'm not an impulsive spender. So okay. it was very strange for me. And then I didn't end up reading it right away. So my my uh, habits are correct. Don't impulsively spend. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I say impulsive spend because you're only. You you only have one life, essentially. Gavin, the so. number of times you have been like, buy it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll text you. <laughs> and I'm like, look at this. And you're like, buy it. Yeah, Always get it. Get... Buy it. 
get the, get that box set, you know? I feel like this is probably why you've stopped now because I will tell you to just get it. And you're like, yeah, that's why I don't don't text you anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm the worst influence. I am genuinely the worst influence. Um, Oh, I want to get the box set of this. I do want to get the box set of The Promised Neverland. Have you read it? I've read the first volume. I've honestly, I've read so many volume ones. I think I've read like 80 volume ones just to get a feel of so many different series. And I like the first volume. Maybe you could not buy the box set and just read it digitally. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I do have the Shonen Jump app. That's That's true. So you pay a monthly subscription for Shonen Jump and then you forget to use it? I mean, I used it for new Spy Family chapters, but that's about it. (laughs) That's about it. You should do Promise Neverland digitally. It's so good until it's not. Mm. And I don't know that I would use my money on that. I've heard that, yeah. I have heard that. I also heard the same for Death Note as well, because I really yes. want to I want to read all that too. But you could buy a bind up for Death Note and it probably wouldn't mm. be crazy expensive because it's not That's... super long. But also, speaking as a content creator, what looks better? Um, me holding this up for the promised mm. Neverland. Or me holding all of the Promised Neverland books. <laughs> no, maybe you're I, right. Maybe I can just, um, what's the word? Uh, Photoshop. Maybe I can just Photoshop the, the Yeah! Books there, <laughs> or you could like, just go on your Discord and be like, hey, anyone around me who owns these that I can just pop over to a park, meet you at a park, and just like pose with it and then go. <laughs> Use someone you else's copies. <laughs> <laughs> I or would absolutely I can... do that. I, you know, what I would if I had someone near me. I would just pretend that their copies were mine. But why don't I just go into the but bookstore? You don't have to and lie. Just... <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> you could say I met up with someone, and look, they gave me like little amazing. They have them all. I don't have to get them. I could literally just borrow them. Uh, also, my library, my local library, has a lot of One Piece, and they have the original One Piece volumes with the gold foil. And like all of really? the, mm-hmm. and I'm just in awe of that because I genuinely didn't realize my library had such a good manga selection. Because I don't live in the best of areas, it's a little bit yeah. run down, but my library is actually really good. Uh, and they have some like really original volumes in there. And I just find that so fascinating. I will now. I'm gonna shop them. I, I uh, when I read Full Metal Alchemist, my library had like probably two thirds of the series, but there were Mm. gaps and it wasn't even like all of it, but the end, it was like, occasionally there would be a volume missing. So I Mm. bought the missing volumes and then read everything from the library. And then when I was done, I just gave them so that their collection was full. Now I gave them the ones that I had bought. Yeah. Yeah. So now they actually have a full series there. And I only had to buy like three volumes. I love that so much. That's inspired me. Now I kind of want to give them, because I want to get all of the One Piece box sets, even though I already yes. own them all. And then I can give my library all the ones that they're missing of One Piece. That's a great idea. It's also a terrible financial decision. So no. <laughs> I know. I also want to get all the Omnibus editions too. Hey, Gavin. And all the Japanese editions. Hey, Gavin. Yeah. Stop. No. Okay, I'll try. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> You got you got some videos on Full Metal. I do. I have like four videos on it, probably. You, I'm sure you're uh, organized in playlists as well, so uh, you can always. I well, I, what was that face? Does that mean no? Um, oh. I'm not an okay. organized person. Okay, you're my financial advisor. I'm going to be your organization uh, advisor. Yes, that would be great. Actually, I could really use the help. I love doing playlists and fancy stuff like that. I love sorting Perfect. things out. We'll help mm-hmm. each other out. I'm finally useful. Finally useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, library's manga section is pitiful, yeah. This is why I would love to donate more because I do read through quite a lot of it and then I'm like, well, I could unhaul it and give it to my library. Like, I think that would be be pretty wonderful. It's uh, a good way yeah, to do it. Yeah, even not just manga, but books in general, the amount of books that I end up unhauling because I've either read it and, you know, I, I want, I'm not going to keep it, not going to reread it, or I didn't like it. My library could definitely benefit from that, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I, so I don't really purchase very many books now because I'm trying to not spend so much money, but I used to purchase everything that I read and I would fill my trunk 
my entire trunk full of books. And then just, I would back up to the library garage. They would open up their garage. I would open up my trunk and we would just. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. It's books and not anything else. You know, that For could real. look suspicious. That could look That's very right. suspect. That's right. <laughs> uh yeah I, i've seen a lot about like budgets and things like but just not always allowing to fill in the gaps yeah i think uh donating stuff i'm gonna have to check what my protocol is with my library i don't know if every library accepts donations but i i, I don't understand I why not. Yeah, yeah i think they would too i think they would too so i i don't say why not so i could always i could always say oh there we go sam offered to donate a whole bunch to my library they said no that's so weird hmm Maybe some of them are like so. Uh, what's the word? You know, like the because mine is funded by the local government and stuff. So maybe yeah. it's something to do with the government or maybe I don't know. I, I, I will ask. Them. I think they're all. I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I thought all libraries were government funded. Maybe it, hmm. it might be to do with like cities versus smaller towns because, yeah. like, a city probably has an abundance and they don't need as much maybe whereas i don't live in a big area and so they're just like oh sweet books mm. yeah that seems about right uh second hand boost store and i think the money goes to their budget ah i just love my library okay it's just amazing i just need to use i i am using it more this year i have a prompt every single month and i go to my library and i check a book out based Yay! on my problem myself so I'm, I'm i am enjoying doing that i'm a little bit behind on it but i'm still doing it and That's i've good. uh i've checked out i think about eight books so far this year eight or nine and that's eight or nine more books than last year so you got it it's it's weird it's a weird dichotomy dichotomy because mm. i want like i much prefer physically reading a book than digitally mm. and yeah. then if it's a book that i love or i want to I want to like grab from my shelf and talk about, I can't because I use a library, but at the same time, mm. my library, I have a great library. They have amazing stock. Almost everything I want to read, unless it's a brand new release, almost everything I read, they have on their shelves or they have mm. digitally. And so it's like, it doesn't make sense for me to purchase all my books, mm -hmm. but I want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh... It's a thing, isn't it? Like I love owning books and I want to make my library so big, like my own personal library so big that I love being in my room. Uh, but honestly, there's just something about getting those books from the library that I think you can't beat. You can't beat that feeling. Um, yeah, you can. And you can. You can use your library a lot more. Um, I feel like I probably only need like one more sprint. I'll probably finish my book. Uh, oh wow well it'll take me more than one sprint to finish my book <laughs> i mean you can try <laughs> you can absolutely try um before we do another sprint actually i do have a question because i watched a really terrible film the other day and i want to know what like the worst film you've ever watched is do you remember what maybe the worst film you've ever watched is do you want me to go first yeah because i want to talk about this film it was awful do it. so i ended up watching titanic 2 and okay. it was oh my god so there is a couple of um it, it's the whole premise of it is that they've rebuilt the titanic and they've called it titanic 2 and they're doing like its own maiden voyage and it's a little bit like poseidon adventure and titanic it's a, a massive wave that brings an iceberg with it and knocks over the titanic 2 but there are it, it's so terribly written and acted there are a couple of infirmary workers like they are nurses and one of them gets a wound and do you want to know how they um they sort out this wound tell me they get a credit card and they put the credit card over the wound and then they get sellotape and stick it over this wound <laughs> and that's how they deal with that dilemma it is so bad so bad i don't even understand that me neither why would you put a credit card over a, an open wound that's bleeding like that wouldn't do anything but no it's not gonna set the blood it's just gonna bleed around that this movie is just gonna show us that maybe you can do that in an emergency <laughs> i would also simon dinosaur is one of my people by the way who uh... just donated 
I will, I will give, oh, thank you so much, Simon Dinosaur. I will give Murphy the $2 so that she can put it towards her bad spending habits because we know Murphy. She can't control itself. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know, I can't answer your bad movie question because I don't, I don't know. You don't watch, you but, don't watch bad um, movies. I don't watch movies, but, but I would like to say the way you said cello tape reminded mm. me, do you know about Flight of the Concords? Do you watch them? Do you care about them? I've never. What is it? It's a movie. Uncultured swine. Okay. Is it a movie? <sighs> no. So there it is. I'm is going to a... send you a song that you will hate and that you will think that you'll question why you're friends with me, actually. Um, <laughs> but they're New Zealanders and they say cello tape. And oh, really? Oh. I think so. Is cello tape right? Cello tape. I mean, is how that, else would you say how... it? Is that how us Americans say it? Sell a tape? Sell, now I'm sell questioning tape. myself. Because it sounds like you're saying you're going to sell a tape. Like, for how much? What tape? <laughs> was, okay. was I went through a phase of trying to learn the guitar. It didn't last long. But this was the only song that I learned on the guitar. And um, let me just say, it was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Is this going to be? Uh, I, I'll obviously not play it on the live because I don't want. Is this you no, singing? I no, I'm sending oh. you "Flight of the Con Flight of the Concord" singing it. Oh, because just when you mentioned the guitar, I thought maybe you were going to send me like some kind of acoustic cover that you did of something. Flight of Concord's F4 cello tape. But it's okay, pronounced I'll have... as the instrument from. Okay, so it's like cello tape. That's not right. Cello, cello think... tape. Yeah, yeah, I know it's right in the UK. I just don't know what. I don't know how we call it. I don't think we call it cello tape. I think we just call it like scotch tape or something. Oh, sticky tape? Or just just tape. Just tape. Just, I, I, think honestly, tape. I don't think we, I, I think that's what it is. We don't um, we don't call it cello tape. We just call it tape. It's just it's just tape. Like clear tape. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes a whole lot of sense. There are so many scotch tape. Yeah. Like, Sorry. Scotch tape. Scotch tape. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, I, I, I'm trying to say it, aluminium or oh, aluminum. Oh, right. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. Al aluminium. Wait, how did you say that? Say it again. Aluminium is how you say it, eh? Yeah, but you, aluminum. you said it like in a really nice way and like a really, in a really fun way. What, which, what did I say? Al you were like alumi aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and then uh malfiescence is another one do you what, say malfiescence I, I don't even know i don't even know what that is malfeasance malfeasance what's that Ma malfeasance you... malfeasance do you i've never heard of it do you oh, okay that's fine <laughs> <laughs> what is it what is it? lynn lynn <laughs> what can you translate for murphy please <laughs> i don't even know what Ma mouth malfeasance. Oh, how how do you say bottle of water? <laughs> bottle a of bottle water. Of water. <laughs> yeah, bottle of water. <laughs> I remember when I was visiting England. Um, I I was the uh, I was in the mall and mm. I asked a question and a guy was like, "Are you American?" And I said, "Yeah." And he goes, "Say elevator." Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> they say lift, and he was just like, "Oh, that's so exciting!" I'm like, "Oh my god, that was not even a fun one." <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me i don't know what it is here's what it is do you know the show once upon a time oh maleficent no maleficent uh the do you know the really the pirate the cute but the cute guy the one that he like has a romance with the with the main chick oh hook yes he hmm. said malfiescence he said am i gonna get in trouble for my malfiescence and it was the only time we had ever heard someone say, pronounced malfeasance in that way ah okay I, and so i don't know what accent he had i think the actor is irish but i don't know what kind of nationality is supposed to be in the show uh, mm -hmm. look let's not I, I know we're talking about accents and language but like let's not take the mick out of my accent <laughs> who <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. I love boobs. 
spooks <laughs> with a K. <laughs> you said the same thing I said. No, I <laughs> honestly the gaslighting. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's do uh, one more sprint, uh, and I'll watch the video that Murphy sent and hopefully finish my book as well. I want this vlog of tomorrow. I still need to finish filming and editing it, but I want it of tomorrow. I believe. Did you in say me. this was our last sprint? I got distracted and stopped listening. Yeah, is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, at the beginning of the sprint, I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven, though. Oh, okay. And yeah. And yeah, no worries. Right, I'm gonna start the timer again. It'll do the applause thing again. Uh, so brace yourself. <laughs>
Okay, it didn't get me as much that time, but I saw you still poop yourself. I don't like that. <laughs> it's I'll just so it. abrupt. It is, but it also makes you want to take a bow, doesn't it? Because it's like, oh, thank you so much. I did do a good job in that sprint. Makes you want to throw up. <laughs> you ever have a good scare and you're just like, ah! Oh, my God. Did you eat in that sprint as well? Yeah. I it have. hasn't come back up, has it? No. <laughs> Everything Ooh. bagel chips and roasted red pepper hummus. Oh, nice. My favorite nice. snack. I love hummus. I've never tried the other thing, but I, I love hummus. Oh, it's so good. What do you eat your hummus with? Carrots. Yeah, that's a good choice. I like it with yeah. bell peppers too. Oh, I've not tried it with bell peppers, but I should. I could honestly just sit and eat carrots all day long. I really? love it. When I, yeah, when I went to the Shire house, all I did was take a bunch of bags of carrots. I would just eat them. I'm like a rabbit. <laughs> That's good, oh. though. That's a good snack to like. Yeah, I agree. It's healthy, at least. It's healthy. Um, I oh, wait to watch the jump scare. I actually went back to see the first one, and I sent you a clip, Murphy, because it's so did funny. You? I did. Yeah, it's so funny. I'm so excited. Oh. I won't watch it right now, but I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, you should. Put me on. It's not in our. Oh, yes, it is. It just took a second to load. <laughs> that happens to me all the time, especially Instagram. Especially Instagram it takes a while. It takes a while. Also, Mario the Great Game. I'm excited for Book Three coming out this year. Is it? I was just wondering about that. I think August. I think is when it's supposed to come out. So we gotta get the gang back together. Uh, you mean Amber Elise? That would be so lovely. That's the first saying, time the three of us hung out. Yeah, it was the first time I ever hung out with you. First time I ever met Amber Elise. And... Yeah, yeah, we it had. Was, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we hadn't done anything before that, which is a shame, honestly. All of those years. All those years. All those years wasted. We could have been besties. Could have, could have, should have, would have, and now. Oh well. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. I hope not. No, I still know you and I still adore you. Uh, 82 you oh, I didn't, but I am close. I am close. But oh my gosh, the funniest. There's a scene where two characters are doing it and somebody overhears, and it is the funniest dialogue. And I'm not going to read it out now. No, but read I, it. I can't. I can't. It's too. Are you going to read it in your reading vlog? I think I might. I think I okay. might because then people have the option to skip it if they want yeah, to. Because it'll be, it'll be a dramatic reading. Uh, do a what? A dramatic reading. A dramatic reading. What accent and everything? Do voices. Mm. Put on one of your wigs. I know you have it, like twenty. Well, it's it's only the the female voice because something is being done to her. So I would have to do that. I would Never have mind. to like act I take that it, out. I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i don't know if i should do it oh. Oh, hi ali <laughs> i uh i'm now on page 40 boom that says 41 i'm showing you the wrong page um i met the guardian of the forest and it was the coolest scene ever Re guardian of the forest sounds incredible yes the knots and gnarls of the tree shifted its bark flexing into cords of muscle a jawline formed and pushed forward swirling to create a, fe a fierce curling mouth of a lion it's so cool it's like this tree that the face kind of like twists and comes out of it and then it, and they have a whole conversation the oh. the world and there's a bunch of intrigue going on too because the guardian of the forest was like, beware hunter, that one is marked. Talking about someone that the hunter is with. And ah, there's just so much going on in just these 40 pages mm -hmm. that I'm like, I'm reading it really slowly because I'm just trying to soak in every detail and note down everything that seems important. Oh, I love it. I'm going to get it tomorrow and probably finish it tomorrow, to be honest. Are you serious? You're gonna talk to me and you're gonna be like, I finished the book before you. <laughs> I would never do so. I, I'm not a competitive person. If you I, do that though, maybe we could have a chat about it because I'm probably assuming the rest of the book is as good as the first 40 pages. I'm probably gonna want to unpack a lot that's in this book. I'm honestly desperate to read it. You've sold it on just the 40 pages alone. I bet you so many people in the chat right now are like 
off buying that book right now? Um, that... Celine Goldenberg, you're welcome. I'm selling your book for you. Watch Definitely. me hate it though. Watch me Definitely. actually get into it and be like, this book sucks. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can really judge a book by the first 40 pages. However, I do know a few people, like say my friend Jade, she loves the Chorus of Dragon series. And yes. she was like 20 pages into book three or four and it was already five star for her. And she was right. Yeah. It's like her favorite book ever. So, so I am definitely feeling like this is going to be in my top books of the year, 40 pages in. We will see. I I tend to get overly excited. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see if it actually pans out. Best way to be, it's the best way to talk about books, I think. Even if it do, it does let you down, that's whatever. The fact that you're feeling this now is the best. This is why we read. This is why we read. I'm so excited. You know what? That, that reminds me of when I was reading The Will of the Many last, yeah. week. last week. Last week, I loved it. I, I was know. getting so into it. And I was feeling all of the things. I was like, maybe it's too early for me to declare this a five star, but this is feeling... I saw your star. Instagram where you like had a five star baby. <laughs> yeah, it's my it's my little baby now. You know, my <laughs> first one. So I assume you're gonna read the sequel. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I can't wait. I don't know when it's out, but I'm there. I'm my there. brother, when he read that book, he as soon as he finished it, he turned around and started it over again, and he was like, it was even better on reread. To be fair, I think so too because I feel like I might have missed some things the first time round. I know I did. I got to the end and I was like, what? Yeah, I'm so glad I had Jade there as I finished it because there were some things I was like, okay, Jade, explain this to me. What does this mean? What does that mean? And it's just, it's so good though. It's so good. Ooh, got a page 56. Nice. Oh, you're ahead of me? You're reading the 500 right now too? Are we twins? Are we both reading this during sprints right now? Twinning. It's a twin moment. That's amazing. You guys are like the twins from The Shining. I Sorry, love it. someone asked for the name of the book, The Last Fi Hunter by Celine Goldenberg. Beautiful cover, have... by the way. It was very much a cover mm. by. Oh, I wonder if it's the same cover in the UK. Because you know how sometimes we change it up a little bit. I wonder if Usually, I think I think covers get changed a lot. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look. The last Fi Hunter. Uh also, is it in hardback? <laughs> yeah. Does my oh, library are you it? are you a hardback? Uh, I don't usually um, care to be honest. Oh, we have the same cover. We do have the aw. same cover. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a shame. Good. I love seeing different editions for books. Same, but then I want to collect them. So maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing it's not. You, Robin, <laughs> need some help. You uh, might be I this is this is why you're here though this is why you, this is why i'm here this me. is you're... an intervention i want you to know that i yeah. typed the name in wrong and this is what popped up for me oh jeremy robinson i'm getting that one the last i know you're already <laughs> over the last five hunter you're like never mind already downloading right now <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what, Ali, I love you so much. I love the fact that you finished that book that took you 84 years to read. Um, what was it called again? The The Woods All Black, I think. And it's a novella. It's like 20 pages. And Ali's been reading it for weeks. Weeks. That doesn't sound like it's been a good time then, Ali. Well, that's what she's... I, I, well, Ali says she does like it. I'm like, why would it take you so long then? I don't know. Why I do tend... So the, when I love a book, I do two, I do one of two things. I either read it super slowly and try to soak in every detail, or I read it, I, I can't put it down, don't do anything but read, and then I, it's gone. It's gone. I lost it. It's all It's all away from me now. Fair, but what if it's a 20-page book, like the book's all black? <laughs> That's a one-sitting book right there. Oh, the new Junji Ito, the Stitches uh, mm -hmm. book. That's tiny. Have you seen it in person? Mm -mm, I haven't. Oh my god! I, well, I obviously I have it. <laughs> so surprised. Uh, it's honestly the smallest thing I've seen. Look at that! Look at that! It's it's tiny. That's wild. It's so crazy too because you have books like. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have like Uzumaki and Tomie, mm. which are giant. Yeah, and then you got that little baby boy. And I know I know he writes short books. He writes short um, mangas as well, but my golly. The, but this one has text. I didn't even realize this. This one has text. Like actual. What? It's, it's so supposed to be manga. 
Oh, but it's, it's, how odd. I, wow, okay. I didn't realize that until I opened the book. Hmm. Okay, that explains the size of it. That explains the size of it. Have you read it. every Junji Ito now? Because you did that one vlog where you did all of it. Are you are you still up to uh, date? Uh, I did read Mimi's Tales of Terror, but I haven't still read No Longer Human. But I still oh. get told that's like different to everything else because it's based off of someone else's story. Interesting. And it's also very hard hitting as well. Like you have to be in the right mind space for it because it deals with like a lot of triggering stuff. So I, it wasn't really right to read that with the other Junji Ito stuff. Yeah, I feel. yeah, yeah. But I will read that eventually too. But other than that, yeah, I'm pretty much caught up on the on the Ito. Is there? You haven't read every Ito, have you? Just, no. Just a few. Just a few. I think I've read four, maybe five. Mm. I would definitely recommend Love Sickness if you're going to read another one. I think that yeah. one was terrifying i read um there were two lineal zone and i can't remember what the one with the volcano hair oh uh the black part no black part no 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 search of the sea i read all of them i should know this uh oh does anyone remember i remember I know exactly the one. You oh, Venus. Venus in the blind spot. Is that the one? No? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember then. I can't say it on the shelf. I was supposed to have all of them. I've definitely read it, though. Censor. It starts it. with an S. Oh, Censor. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I read The Liminal Zone and Censor, and I found both to be a bit underwhelming. Yeah. So I wasn't kind of, Yeah, it kind of threw me off my Junji Ito streak because I loved uh, Uzumaki and Tomie so much. Mm, yeah you definitely i feel like shiver should then be your next one then shiver shiver and love sickness they will get you back on the journey shiver, like. shiver huh? might you be have... my fifth book i think i might have read that one too oh okay that's good the one with the balloons the no. balloon faces okay I oh, haven't okay. Read that. okay perfect that's like one of my favorite stories okay i'll try that one too yay oh i really want to read night watching uh unfortunately i don't have it to read it Gavin hates Kayla confirmed. Uh, let's let's not spread rumors. <laughs> I, I would like to have our first Gavin reads it all drama. You've had how to train your Gavin middle grade era drama. I'm right, sure you got right. your your drama from your uh, how to train your dragon YA and adult era. I'm sure you've gotten mm -hmm. your manga drama. I just you know mm -hmm. we just let's let's get your Gavin reads it all drama. You raise a good point. I don't Maybe. have any since changing my name in november yeah i i don't have any you have any drama you're due i do you you are due you're due right now oh i'm due you're gonna have okay. a baby i'm gonna have a a drama baby essentially it, it's the I'm gonna manufacture something it's the way <laughs> we're gonna, manu gonna manufacture this apparent kayla uh <laughs> feud <laughs> uh Bid read 60% of the book I love, then put it down. Don't touch it again because I got intimidated. <gasps> I do that too. That's actually so relatable. I'm better about it now because I vlog every week. So I don't have a choice. Mm. I have to finish the book. But before I was vlogging, like, I, you, okay, so here's the thing, Gavin. And I've talked about this on my channel before. So hopefully nobody is going to be, hopefully nobody's going to um, burn me at the stake. But I, before I started a booktube channel, I used to never finish books. I would always stop about 50 mm. pages to the end and then just stop. And even now, to this day, I tend to not want to read an ending. I tend to just like, oh. I get to the end and I slow down and I'm like, ah, I don't really feel like it finishing this. I'm good. Mm. And then I make myself finish because I have to. Oh, so you prolong finishing I just something that I don't, just don't want to. Do even if yeah. I love a book, I'm like, eh, yeah. I probably know how it's going to end. And I stop 50 pages in. I don't stop, but I want to stop. Mm. But like oh, half the time, the final 50 pages are like, Oh, no, I definitely should have read that. That's a big part of the mm. book. Uh, that would matter. <laughs> well, nine times out of ten, sometimes those last 50 pages can make that book terrible. So really, oh, I, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, I used, I didn't used to do that with books, but only TV sh shows. If a that TV show was ending, that. I wouldn't watch the last season. That happened with Dead Silence. Dead Silence? Wait, you didn't finish Dead Silence? No, oh, Dead I Silence did. ending. And the last the 50 Dead pages Silence. were a bumsky. It was still a great mm. book, but yeah, bumsky ending. But then you read S.A. Barnes's other book recently and you didn't like that one that much, did you? 
uh, maybe I might avoid essay bombs for a while. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I don't want to turn you off because I did really enjoy Dead Silence. Yeah, I will still give it a go. I'll still give it a try. Uh, read after reading the novel. Okay, so I need to read the novel first and then the manga. Okay, I'll I'll do that. I will do that. Um, do do do. Let me just catch up with some comments. Oh, uh, do you have a Forbidden Planet? Is that just a UK thing? It's essentially a store that sells like manga and anime figures. And there are a lot of like regular books too. They do sell those, but mostly like fantasy and sci fi than anything else. Uh, so it's essentially a nerd shop. And ah, I, that's awesome. I do have one in my town that I absolutely love. They do three for two. So you buy three manga, you get, no, you buy, well, yeah, you buy three manga, but you get one of them free. So you're only buying two manga. Nice. If that makes sense. So like three, which is, honestly amazing um yeah. but i love um whenever you go into forbidden planet they do go all out on the junji ito uh, there's even like junji ito t-shirts and merch like that i feel like maybe i might dabble but then i shouldn't because money but yes maybe I should. as your financial advisor you do not need junji ito merch Oh, did this with sharp objects. I've never done that with any kind of thriller, but I feel like maybe I will because the amount of times I've read a thriller recently and did not like the ending, it actually ruined the experience, has been too, too often. Thrillers, too often. So I like... feel like, want so badly to have that final twist at the end mm. and they shoot themselves in the foot. You know what did have a great twist? And I can't believe I'm saying this, but this middle grade had a couple of twists that really? actually... Oh my god, it actually got me. And it's actually quite emotional as well. But oh my gosh. Oh, You're selling that book really well. Thanks. I, you're selling yours. I'm selling mine. This is what we do. What That's we do. right. We We're going to make the whole chat spend their money. Yeah, so we're not going to spend ours, but you guys are going to spend yours. That's, that's, that's right. how it works. That's how I it will works. say, I've not been purchasing books for a while. And... um or like very, very rarely. And this is the first book that I've purchased because it was a new release uh, in a little bit. And uh, I really miss just aggressively annotating books. Yeah, it's fun. Like just reading physically and like consuming it so much, like in your so eyeball. Nice. So good. And yeah, when I saw the release date of that book, it was like, what, April 20, for me, it says April 9th, 2024. That was really four days ago, apparently. Yeah, I pre-ordered it. I got wow. it in the mail and I was like, I'm saving this for reading sprints. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a special occasion to start it. Mm. Well, I love that for you. I Me do. too, because it's been a great experience. <laughs> uh, Monday thrillers are just all the same. I agree, Lynn. I honestly agree. So many of them have been very samey. And I, I I'm not really um that well versed in horror and thriller. I'm trying to be. But a lot of the ones that I have read, like Ruth Ware, Riley Sager, I'm trying to go for the booktube favorites and those people who people, like Alex Megalides, oh my God, the only thing that man can write is his name. Every single book he's written is terrible, absolutely terrible. And everyone loves him. And I don't understand why. Is that I the guy that wrote The Maidens? Yes. I hated that book. Oh, it's so bad. Every it's book you so touch bad. is bad. The Maidens is terrible, absolutely terrible. The amount of plot holes in that book, the way it just doesn't make sense. I'm like, can we not? Can we not? Yeah. And he's just got a new one now called The Fury. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. You can't pay me to touch it. Well, actually, you could yeah. pay me. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay me in love. <laughs> no, you would take the money and then you would go get yourself an Airbnb. <laughs> that is a Star Wars something. And then you would read all the Star Wars books. <laughs> Well, you need to go to Disney that. World and do the mm -hmm. Star Wars experience. Uh huh. I could. And, and and tell me when you're going, and I'll and I'll go. <laughs> I actually have no interest in Star Wars. I just want to see you. To be fair, as well, I have only ever seen a couple of Star Wars films, but I would read Star Wars books. Like I'm not against it. Uh, but funny you mention it, um, Murphy. I am going to Sherwood Forest at the end of this month to read Robin Hood. So I do have something in the works. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I can't wait for you to do all of that and then hate the book. Mm, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen, to be fair. Because I'm not the really the biggest fan of some like older fairy tale-esque things. Uh, it doesn't do matter, try. though, because 
the fun of the vlog is whatever kind of nonsense puns and innuendos you're going to come up with <laughs> while you're exploring a fun new place. Not Robin Hood. I couldn't make Robin Hood dirty. Uh, well, if you can for Aslan, then you can. For uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're always going to use that against me. Okay. okay. Yes, forever. Not going to have the fury. Fair. Lynn, what was the thriller we read together that was terrible? Survive the Night. Oh, Survive the Night? Yeah, I've read that one too. didn't like it. Riley Sager? It was terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everyone loves that. Loves that man. So I'm like, hmm. Yeah, but I think even fans of his say, yeah, that, that one wasn't good. Well, actually, no. Actually, I think Nakia. Nakia, don't you like Survive the Night? Actually, I actually think Nakia likes Survive the Night. And honestly, Nakia has some of the best taste as well. I do trust Nakia. I feel Nakia. super bad for trashing it just now then. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we love you, Nakia. It's all good. Um, but I also didn't really fully love it either. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, yeah, as you say, didn't really like it all that much, apart from some special exceptions, of course. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Robin Hood. Uh, I have a certain copy of it. I don't know if it's the right original telling of it. It's a copy, so hopefully... Oh, bring the Princess Bride with you. I actually do want to read the Princess Bride. I, I literally bought it, like, last That's week. Really good idea. Shocker, Gavin. I know, I know. That's but really why, why would... Why would the Princess Bride be good in Sherwood Forest? It's been so long since I watched the film. Would it just be good because of the vibes? Like, I'm in a forest, maybe? I don't know. I do need to take something else, because I'm there for, like, five nights. I only have one book that's probably going to take me the first day to read. Also read the meetings together. Yes, it's very episodic. So you would probably get through it really quickly, because it's just, like, a bunch of short things. Ah. Uh. Uh, the key is being so nice in the chat. <laughs> I, just, I don't deserve the kindness. You do. You're the best. Do not get the hype for the Princess Bride. I love the movie, but it, it's been a while since I watched it, so I can't really remember too much about it, to be honest. It's still extraordinary, and Lynn is a yeah. fuddy duddy. <laughs> well, I mean, I still haven't read Tress of the Emerald Sea, and that one's kind of like loosely. In, oh inspired right. Well, them, right? yeah, inspired by, but not. Hmm. They're not super similar. Yeah, and also I've looked at so many Robin Hood retellings. Every single one of them does not interest me. I've mm -hmm. been on a deep dive. Every single one of them sound pretty bad. Like you should I, watch, you should I don't watch like Robin Hood Men in Tights. Ah, uh, what's the one that I like? It's the one because I haven't seen all the Robin Hood films. I've seen one that I do like, and it's the one that has everything I do, I do for you. Is that that one? Mm -hmm. Everything I do, I do it for you. I don't that know. One? Robin Hood Men in Tights is not a real recommendation, by the way. Don't don't watch it. Oh, is it terrible? I mean, I don't know. It's like a super goofy, uh, satirical. I watched it in middle school. I don't know. Fair. Oh, I'm thinking of Prince of Thieves. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, Little John and Robin Hood walking through the forest. Maybe I can like do some like songs and stuff. Uh, when I'm there, maybe sing that cello tape song that you sent me. Yeah. Sticky stuff. <laughs> Wait, you listened to it? I did. I did. It was actually very catchy. It Yay! was very catchy. Did you love it? <laughs> I mean, love's a strong word, but I did like it. Oh, I miss <laughs> like... it. I'm going to listen to it after we're done. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if I should just randomly start singing sticky stuff every now and then just because. Well, you did, and it was amazing. It was a perfect way of telling me you listened to my song. Usually when you send someone a song, they don't mm. listen to it. So yeah, your, your subtitle was correct. Murphy does love uh, you. We, we end on the highest of notes. Note. We end on the best of notes, honestly. I was worried. I, I was concerned at the start. Maybe by the end of this, Murphy's going to unfriend and block. She's going to block me, everything, but no. I did scare you twice, but that's neither here nor there. Wow, that was so rude. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, hopefully we get to do this uh, more often. And Murphy, don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome on Gavin Reads at All, uh, especially if there's drama involved. Because again, yeah. we're going to be starting some stuff. We'll We're just gonna start be... unpacking all the drama. Yeah, Time for so drama everyone... hour with Murphy and Gavin. 
Oh, I love that. That's the new podcast coming end of May, uh, 2024. We're just going to make stuff up. None of it's real. Which is what I love. It's kind of a little bit like agenda piece, right? Like you kind of have some wacky agenda. This there is you our go. Agenda. That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.